the name Brett Marshall, B-R-E-T-T-M-A-R-S-H-A-L-L, -L, and I'm 38 years young. Well, back in the day, uh, when it started in Aromas, I don't know how many athletes were there, far less than there are now. Um, I came second in the, in the first games, and then uh, I followed that up the next year. Um, I think I ended up 39th. Um, I kind of jumped in on that one, showed up, planning to spectate, couldn't help it. At that time, there wasn't quite the process that there is now. Uh, Dave said, yeah, okay, you can go, but I'm going to tell you when you, you know, what heats you have to go in and so on. So anyway, competed in the second games, had a lot of fun. That was the year Khalifa kind of stole the show, I guess you could say. Everybody was watching Spieler and, and Everett, and Everett passed Spieler, and then it was like, okay, he's got it, and then it's like all of a sudden the, the every second counts was over and there was a new champion. Uh, anyway, that was exciting. So that was uh, year two and year three. Um, I went down, or planned to go down to support uh, my team. Um, and it turned out my brother uh, got sick before, so I jumped in on the team and we got, we got fourth. And uh, the following year, although I did qualify for regionals, I had a prior commitment, so I didn't, I didn't actually compete at regionals. Um, and now we're, we're on to this year, and like you said, so far so good. I think, you know, the first workout was, uh, uh, it was good for me. The lighter you are, potentially the better you're gonna do in that workout, so now it's on to workout two and three, and we'll see what happens. CrossFit's definitely changed my life, um, certainly for me, uh, but I think on a greater level now because I get to coach it and uh, you know own an affiliate and get to work with people, I see the effect that it has on other people, whether or not it's changing their life, uh, you know, that's, that's for them to say, but it certainly changes my life to see what it does uh, for people, at least in my opinion, absolutely, there's no question. My training um, is more about the process now than it is about results. I just haven't had that um, opportunity or made that space in my life to say, hey, I'm, I'm training specifically for sectionals and for the games and for a, a specific result. Um, um, I basically, my programming at CrossFit Calgary is based on what I want to do for my training. So I come in here and join the classes as much as I can. Obviously, I coach the classes. Um, what I feel I need is what I feel that any um, CrossFit athlete could potentially benefit from. So um, as of late, I do as much as I can here and, uh, and, and there's no real schedule to it. I have a firefighting schedule that I adhere to too. So, um, you know, it's, there's days where I get a couple of workouts in, in a day and then there's times where I'm two, maybe three days uh, in a row of rest. So I'd say I probably average five workouts a week kind of thing. but. It fluctuates depending on what's going on. Uh, when I did, I did a level one, and uh, at the time I was really fortunate because it was back in the day. Greg Glassman coached him, and uh, so he lectured in the morning, <clears throat> and then we went out to do our first break, and he came up to me, and uh, you know we did our first set of movements, and he just came over and he said, "Oh, you, you know, you have beautiful movement." It uh, was kind of giving me compliments and uh, you know I of course am trying to return the favor by saying oh my god you have no idea this you know what you've come up with is amazing and uh, he actually shook my hand and said hey I just want to thank you very much for everything you're doing for CrossFit and uh, you know it was actually even pretty emotional I, I was kind of blown away um, and it made me realize you know what the sport had all of a sudden meant to me and, uh, and just the humility uh, that I got from Greg in terms of you know, how proud he was or happy he was that people were you know, believing in him and following him. So if I had to come up with a defining moment, it was probably that moment. I come here every day very simply because it makes me feel good. I, I, once you enter this environment and start coaching people and see the relationships that you can build and the effect that potentially you can have, uh, in people's lives, um, it's something. It, call it selfish, but um, you know, I leave every day from here feeling better than when I came, and I feel pretty good most days. So, you know, that's a pretty uplifting, enlightening thing. But our purpose at CFC is lifting one another, one workout at a time. So, my coaches, the expectation is that when they're here, not only should they feel lifted because of what they have the opportunity to do with people and members and clients, but that. Um, they're lifting those people. And then we encourage, and, and this is the same at all affiliates, it's 
uh, you know, I don't know if it's a magic formula or how exactly it ended up all coming to be, but you just bring a bunch of people together to experience and share in something where you're kind of, you know, you're laying things out, fears about something, ego, you know, trying to lift a weight that maybe you can or shouldn't be or, or whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Um, people expose themselves and when you do that uh, and you see that there's other people around that are willing to kind of embrace that and you know they're not there to make fun of you or whatever the case is it's just it's this uh, it's this uplifting thing so I mean I'm here every day because it just feels right um, you know I can't deny that and then uh, you know what drives me to compete and continue to want to be involved in it well obviously that plays a big part of it um, you know it, it feels good it, it's just a great part of my life the competitive thing uh, for me, and, you know, when I talk about this with all of our clients, I mean, we compete every day. So every day that there's a wad, people come in here and they put everything on the line and they go to that place or wherever uh, to, you know, perform their best or, or perform to whatever level they want to perform to on that day. Um, competition, though, when you define it as sectionals and, and all of a sudden you have a ref that's not just a coach in front of a class, um, to me, there's a, there's a point where we always want to, here at CrossFit Calgary, we always want our clients to come halfway. They got to meet us halfway. We're here as coaches. We're going to encourage you. We're the experts here. We're going to, you know, explain to you how to do it. Uh, but you, you still have to walk through that door, and it's intimidating to get through that door because there's people doing crazy stuff with weights. Um, competition, I view, as potentially the next step in a in a bit of an evolving process for people. Where the first thing you do is you get the courage to come here. And then you get the courage to do some of the workouts. And then, you know, after a couple times, you know, even where there's some girl who's out snatching you or overhead squatting you or doing 10 times more pull-ups than you, and you're like, geez, man, but you keep coming and you keep pushing it. And then eventually, after a while, like I said, for me, it's about the process. You realize that there's a process here that's involved, not that you're not still striving for results because we all want to see improvement and progress, but you start to engage yourself in that process, whatever that is. And uh, competition, I think, allows you to take that uh, one of the next steps in that process um, because now you you gotta you gotta meet us halfway again you gotta say I signed up and that's that's a scary thing and it's a big deal and then not only do you, do you have to sign up then you gotta show up and when you show up it's like woo okay it's not just quite the class where everybody's you know maybe not paying attention to what I'm doing in the corner now there's actually somebody paying attention specifically to everything I'm doing and they're actually counting it and it's it's pretty clear and laid out and defined so uh, for me, um, competition is always going to be important because I always want to make sure that I'm exposing myself to new challenges so that I can continue to take myself to the next level, whatever that level is. And, and then obviously, uh, you know, certainly we encourage everyone else to do that. But that's what drives me. It's just, it's a process and I know that it just, it allows you to get to the next step. And, and hopefully we can just keep making steps and, and keep growing the sport and, you know, and, and uh, taking as many people along with us along the way.